this is the main body of the diesel engine model diesel engine starter I have supports on everywhere in cover for this the, those are needed there's a peg inside and there's a couple of like lips on the outside I'm going to call them lips like things where the button goes in the button that you can push or press to unhook the wound up clockwork spring and that should cause it to turn and start the model diesel engine now as I say this spring on this will almost definitely not be strong enough to actually start a model diesel engine so this is just a prototype sort of thing to get an idea of how parts may fit together this is approximately a one and a half hour print I think well a bit over an hour so I will be pausing this video I might put some on time lapse as well one problem having a fan shroud on it's very hard sometimes to see how well it's getting laid down Try and move this with a light a bit. As I say, this is about one hour print, maybe a bit longer. So I'll be pausing the camera just, I think I'll put on time lapse actually. Yeah, why not? Let's get on the time lapse, I think, for a bit. Just going to do a little bit more first. Forty-five minutes into this print now. Okay, I'm going to pause the video now back in about half an hour or so I think
There we are, finished 1 hour 23 minutes. Let's check the temperature, 45 degrees on the bed, so it hasn't been finished very long. It's still warm. Oh, uh, it's come off. No, looks a little bit oval. Let's see. Forty-seven. Forty-five. So I'd have to check my uh, calibration. Actually, forty-seven. Yeah. So, come on, pretty good. This is supports. There's a button thing goes in here. That's to try and catch on the ratchet and the clockwork spring goes inside. There's a peg in here. I'll just make it out here. That's for the clockwork spring to catch on that side. Apart from being a bit sort of oval. Pretty good.